Blue class. I'm glad you guys found me out here in the jungle of Thailand. I'm in search of a sacred temple that a tiger lives in. A tiger is my favorite jungle animal. What is yours? I like that animal too. When I'm jungle trekking, sometimes I like to skip count, like by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I've been having a hard time with my threes. Can you skip count by threes for me? Good job. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. How about fours? Take a shot. Way to go. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Here we are. We made it to our bridge. You need to solve the application problem to cross it. Here's our application problem. The temple we are trying to find is 42 miles away and I already hiked two thirds of that 42 miles. How many miles do I have left to hike? Here's what I'm gonna leave you with. We hiked two thirds of 42. So we're trying to see what is two thirds of 42? Your first step is to multiply two times 42 over three. Start that now. Two times 42 equals 84 and the three stays the same. Your next step is to bring this into a mixed number. And to do that, we need to see how many times three goes into 84. Solve that now. Go. How many times does three go into 84? Three goes into eight, three, six, two times. Three times two gave us six. Now we subtract. Eight minus six equals two. And the next step is to bring down. Now, how many times does three go into 24? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. That's eight times. Your answer should have been 28. So now that I know that I hiked 28 miles so far, how many miles do I have left to get to the temple? 42, 28. How many miles do I have to left? Are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Okay, good. If the temple is 42 miles away and we already hiked 28 miles, how many miles do we have left? You guys should have picked subtraction. When we do 42 minus 28, we go two minus eight, can't do, cross this off, make it a three. This comes a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. We have 14 miles left to go. Today we're going to learn 1 half of 1 fourth, or 1 half times 1 fourth. There's two ways of doing this. We can draw it out. 1 fourth, you know, looks like this. 1 fourth. Now, if we're going to split that fourth in half, and one half of one fourth will give us this. What is our new fraction, the purple shaded in? You should have got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth. One eighth is our answer. Another way to solve this problem is one half times one fourth equals. This way of solving is you multiply straight across. One times one is one. Two times four is eight. One eighth is our answer. Here's one for you to try. What is one half of one third? Go ahead and try that. If you were to draw it out, one third, and again, we are splitting this in half. One half of one third equaled one sixth. Or if you did the multiplication way, one times one equals one, two times three equals six. One six is our answer. We're gonna do one more together and then I'm gonna send you off on your own. What is one fourth times one third? All go right. ahead, here we go. One times one is one, four times three is 12. The answer should have been 1 12th.
you guys are going to solve the following problems on our hike to find the hidden temple. Here we go. You guys did it and look what we found the hidden temple it looks like we made it to the sacred temple we've already found one tiger on the roof there's another let's go see if there's any inside